Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content and boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, man, I seen this news on BoxingScene.com. As soon as I seen this, I'm looking like, damn, I'm hoping that this fight right here goes down, dude. This will be a friggin' banging-ass fight, very entertaining fight, very meaningful fight for that damn 168-pound division. But like I was saying, dude, it looks like Caleb Smith may be the mandatory to David Benavidez for that damn WBC title. And this is coming out in BoxingScene.com. Like I said in this article, it states, Caleb Smith officially in line for Benavidez Yildirim winner. And in this article, it goes on to state. Caleb Smith could well be one step closer to a unification showdown. It also goes on to state in this article. It was revealed on Wednesday that Smith has been made the mandatory challenger to Mexican-American David Benavidez, the WBC champion, on account of him owning and defending that unforementioned WBC trinket. Before the two belts can be unified, the 22-year-old David Benavidez must defend his belt against Avni Yildirim. Quote, Boom, yo, if this fight right here goes down, dude, that would be friggin' badass. And that friggin' unforementioned WBC trinket that they are talking about is because Caleb Smith has the WBC diamond belt. And having the WBC diamond belt pretty much makes you the mandatory for the WBC belt. If you don't have the WBC interim title, if you have the WBC diamond belt, that'll pretty much make you the friggin' mandatory for the WBC title. So like I said, with Caleb Smith having the WBC diamond belt, he is pretty much the mandatory to David Benavidez to be able to fight for that WBC title. But like it says in the article, David Benavidez does have to get rid of his mandatory and Avni Yield Durham before he can go ahead and be able to fight a dude like Caleb Smith to be able to unify this damn division. But with this being, with this coming out, dude, this is friggin' badass. And it definitely puts a dude like Caleb Plant Excuse me, on the back burner real quick, just for the simple fact is, with Homie being a friggin' mandatory, plus with him having the WBA super belt, this would definitely, definitely knock out two birds with one stone because not only can he get rid of a mandatory, but he can also be able to unify the belts by getting that damn WBA super belt if David Benavidez is able to beat a dude like Caleb Smith or vice versa. Caleb Smith can friggin' beat David Benavidez, be able to get that damn WBC belt, and he'll be a friggin' two belt holder in that damn 160 eight pound division and it'll definitely make it very intriguing no, no matter pretty much who wins for both of them dudes to be able to fight a dude like Caitlin Plant to be able to unify that damn division and then you have a dude like Billy Joe Saunders who is just kind of in the friggin mix I don't know what the hell he's doing I don't know who the hell he's fighting he ain't literally fighting no freaking body in that damn division, but he got the damn WBO 168 pound title. So if something like this goes down, it is very possible like a dude like Canelo Alvarez may possibly fight Billy Joe Saunders to be able to unify the WBA regular belt with the WBO belt that Billy Joe Saunders have. And then hopefully if Canelo Alvarez is able to get the belt from Billy Joe Saunders or vice versa, then we can really see an undisputed champion in that damn 168 pound division. So it does Definitely looks like that damn super middleweight division is cracking right now. You got a dude like Caleb Smith, who is the friggin' next mandatory to a dude like David Benavidez for that WBC title. And I'm hoping they can friggin' make this fight, dude. That would be a friggin' badass fight. That would definitely be a barn burner fight because both of them dudes are dogs. Both of them dudes like to be in your face fight on the inside. Caleb Smith can use his range when he wants to, but he is definitely definitely shown that he will fight you on the inside he will be a dog he will give up his height and his reach to be a freaking dog in that damn ring and that would definitely be a very fun very exciting and a very meaningful fight for that damn super middleweight division all right you guys so i hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and i'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy. I swear, I swear. just wait a while.